sponsored by West Beer, and today we're here with Stephen Carlin. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you very much. Good. So, what have you been up to today? Uh, I've been very lazy today so far. <laughs> Extremely lazy. I've just left the house to, to come and do this interview. Brilliant. So, tell us about your show. Um, it's it's a quite a confessional show. It's about gambling. Um, I'm a gambling addict, or reformed gam gambling addict, and so I talk about my gambling from childhood when I sort of got into it to uh, all the way through to adulthood and debt and out the other side and now Edinburgh with more debt yeah. <laughs> Edinburgh Festival so yeah. how did you get into comedy did you always know that sort of performing in comedy was the sort of thing you wanted to do um it's quite embarrassing to say this I used to have a mullet which is quite an unfashionable hairstyle <laughs> yeah. and uh, this is a sort of about 1990 and um, there was a a comedian called Bill Hicks who had one. I'd never heard of him, but a guy at school went, "Oh, do you, you got a mullet? Do you, do you like Bill Hicks?" And this guy was sort of, he was like the school bully, but he was also in it a lot of good music and stuff. Um, so I just said yes because I thought it'd be wise. And then I found out that Bill Hicks, I got into comedy through a bad haircut, <laughs> basically. Well, that's what I've never heard before. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, the mullet's gone, but my my love of comedy remains. Brilliant. So, have you performed at the Finch before? Yes. Oh How yeah. many times have you performed here? Um, on and off since 2003. I oh, was at, wow. I was an amused Miss Hot Starlet in 2003. Oh, cool. Do you imagine? I didn't have a beard at the time, obviously. <laughs> um, I was a starlet, clean shaven. Um, and I've been I've been here at various places, at the stand and at the Pleasance. And so, what do you like about performing at the Fringe? Um, well, one good thing is that I get to meet all my. I live in London. I get to meet all my friends from London yeah. that I never see in London. <laughs> They're all up here for a month. Because in comedy, you're constantly all over the place. It's one good thing. Um, I like the challenge of writing a new show. I suppose that's quite a sort of. Sorry, that's quite a cliched answer. <laughs> but, oh well, you need to be, be all earnest here. Yes, I like the challenge. I do. I like going. Oh, I've got this amazing stand-up that works. Get rid of that. You don't want that. Let's let's write something new, and then have sleepless nights while I <laughs> before Edinburgh while I worry about getting it to getting it right. And then I can come. Everyone's telling me I'm looking healthy. I've not had any sleep for about a month. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. It's the new um, not Atkins diet, but it's a new thing. I think I'm going to write a self-help book. That's the next no step. No sleep, no fruit and do that in the festival. <laughs> so is there audience interactions in your show? Uh, sort of participation and stuff like that? Or um, no, I mean, not built in the fabric of the show as such. I mean, the show can run as a, uh, without them, and, but I, I do like to chat to them. Yeah. It depends who's in and what they're like. You kind of get a sense of different audiences and mm -hmm. some of them want to chat. Um, some of them don't even ask for permission. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get a lot of hecklers. <laughs> Do you know what? The first night it was it was heckle central. It was just like I thought, my God, it's going to be heckly this year. But it was just the first night. I don't know if I was putting out a sort of vibe of toss to me, please. But people were just like chipping in all roads, and then not just heckling, but explaining all the backgrounds of their lives. <laughs> I think I found out more about them than they did about me in the in the first season. Oh dear. Um. So what have you got planned for the next sort of year after you finish with the French? Well. Um, you do a lot of writing, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I do. But I've, I'm writing a, a script for Channel Four, oh, right, along the theme of Scottish independence. So that's my sort of big writing project that I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to be writing up during the festival. Uh -huh. I don't know if I'll have time. <laughs> I think I'll just turn up at the meeting with like four post-it notes. But I've got some character ideas, but they're kind of not fleshed out yet. Yeah. So, so that's. On. I was hoping to take the show to Australia. Cool. Apparently they're into gambling a lot there. So they'll relate, they'll relate I've to the show. I don't have as much to do. I don't <laughs> know. That's what somebody told me, I don't know. There's, yeah, so I'd like to do that. Get a bit of sun and uh, meet the Australians in Australia. I've never been. Cool. So when and where is your show on? It's at 6 o'clock at the Pleasance Courtyard. I had to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely six o'clock at the Pleasant Court, yeah. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for coming thank and speaking you. to us. I'm Miss Michelle, you've been watching Waffle TV.